Her face pale as snow, her gaze austere, the curls on her shoulders cold as her touch. Lips once so red, now blue as the darkening sky, yet to those who listened, her eyes said so much. They told stories, bonny and gay, from a long time ago, of love and glee. When flowers blossomed, birds sang merry tunes, in the warm sun she would sit carefree. As she touches her icy scepter now, she feels no love, she feels no pain. The Queen of Winter, so they call her, her kingdom is forever darkened by the moon and the rain. She is hated, she is scorned, for the winter she brings, the sleet and the frost, the frozen tear that runs down her cheek silently tells a story of a lover and children lost. Alone she stands atop her windy tower, looking, searching, across a white woodland. Her kingdom is empty, no birds chirp, no squirrels chatter. A far cry from the beauty once so colourful and grand. The marbled steps take her down into a courtyard of cobbles and ice. There in the corner, hidden behind the fur, are two little greys under a wintry guise. The weary queen lays down her head next to the little alabaster statue. Her heart beats slower and then finally stops, her neck and hands taking a silver hue. An angel up high asks, what shall we do? The queen has passed before her due. Her time has not yet come, replies the father. Her heart is tired, but her soul is true. From her hand the angel takes the vial and puts in its stead a red rose. With sweet breath he kisses her lips giving her his life, taking her woes. The queen awakens from her eternal slumber, looking first that way, then this. In her hand a blood-red flower she holds, her lips still warm and sweet from the kiss. By her side, glistening in the snow, is a golden heart as bright as the sun it had belonged to the angel, you see. A purer and more noble deed cannot be done. The angel had filled her heart with happiness. Her soul was filled anew with joy. From that day on, she was never more sad or lonesome. The golden heart round her neck became her blessed envoy. Her lands became green once more birdsong could be heard for many a mile. Her people loved her. The winter was gone for good. The most hardened of frowns she would melt with her smile. The queen had returned. Her soul had been born anew. In God's good grace she walked, ruled, laughed and loved. Her mind was at peace. Her heart was filled. She was truly happy until the day that God willed.